Hi, this is Julie from WordPressUncovered.com. This is just a quick tutorial on how to connect your WordPress website with an FTP client. Having access to an FTP account is all you need if you want to upload a text file, add some custom code, tighten security, want to create a child theme, or make a copy of a folder. Using an FTP client is not complicated, but it's really important that you have backups of your site before you get started. Using an FTP client, you can make permanent changes to your site files. And if you're not careful, you can make irreversible mistakes with one click, which might take down your site. So very important, have your backups in place before you get started. So let's have a look how to set up an FTP account. I like to use FileZilla. It's really simple to use, it's open source, and it's even recommended by WordPress. However, it's up to you which one you would like to use. Start by logging into your hosting account to get your FTP details. So here now, this is the account with SiteGround, but um, the hosting accounts are usually, they're quite similar. So what you want to do is you want to find the FTP uh, details. Here we go to websites. Then we go to site tools. And click on site, FTP accounts. Here we go. Now, if you don't have one yet, what you do is you just put in your name, um, generate a very strong password and click create. A minute later, you'll have your FTP account down here. Now, what you do is you click here, those little dots, and click on FTP credentials. Here we go. Now we have hostname, username, password, and your port. Copy those, please. And then go to your FTP client. In general, you can use any. Um, you can use Vizilla, Fresh FTP, CyberDoc, Wise, Smart, Fire FTP, any of them will do the job. They're all very, very similar. Okay. Here now we use Vizilla. Here we go. Here you put in your host, username, password and port, which you just got from your hosting account and click Quick Connect. On the left hand side, you'll see your local site. So anything from your desktop. And on the right hand side, you'll see a remote site. Okay. So we will start, let me see, you would start about here. Okay. And this is what you would see. So what we do is we, now that's it pretty much. If you need to add a text file to your root folder, just go to public HTML. If you would like to watch a video, how to add a text file, you can have a look at my video, how to add an ads txt file to your website. If you would like to know how to create a child theme, check out my video, how to create a child theme. I hope you found this video useful. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials to come. And thank you very much for watching.